The Federal Reserve is implementing a controversial strategy to stabilize financial markets before year end. That strategy is known as capital injection. But unless you're a financial expert, you probably don't know what that means. So let's break it down. The Federal Reserve is lending banks more money with the goal of lowering short-term rates and stabilizing the money market. Banks often borrow from other banks to cover shortfalls in their cash reserves. But those banks can also borrow cash from the Federal Reserve through repurchase agreements or repos. A bank will sell the Fed collateral-backed securities, like Treasury securities or a mortgage loan, and later repurchase that loan from the Fed with interest. The Fed purchases collateral-backed securities in order to protect itself if a bank defaults on the loan. These transactions are often just overnight loans, but 14-day repos are also common. A sharp spike in interest rates in mid-September has caused the central bank to ramp up activity in the repo market for the first time in a decade. The Federal Reserve used capital injection to increase the amount of cash flow in the economy during and after the 2008 financial crisis as banks were too scared to loan each other money. That cash pumped into the market makes up the asset portion of the Fed's balance sheet, which ballooned from $848 billion in August 2007 to about $4.5 trillion in 2017. The Fed began a balance sheet runoff, or selling of assets, in the fourth quarter of 2017 as the U.S. economy gained strength. It's unclear what exactly caused the September rate spike, but it can be a signal of over-tightening by the central bank. The Fed ended its balance sheet runoff at the end of July, two months early. But now it's expanding the balance sheet again to keep short-term interest rates in line with the federal funds rate. The central bank is unsure where exactly its balance sheet should settle, but is monitoring market conditions to determine when the expansion should stop. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.